Well, good morning to the people of the Glenrothes constituency of Fife. What a horrible few days it's been. The weather, atrocious. You have to forgive me. I know I look as though I've been caught in an explosion in a charity shop for Help the Aged. But there you go. I'm working, as you can see, from the multimedia command centre of my great political campaign. And I want to answer a few more questions that I've been asked. Is that OK? So, listen, the first question people have asked is, well, tell us a little bit more about you. Uh, been married for 40 years, lived in over 40 different places, got two children, grown up, gone away a long time ago, getting on with their own lives. Uh, started a, a new business here in the Kingdom of Fife. In addition to that, as a minister, hoping to start a new church next year in the great town of Leven, uh, called the George Wishart Memorial Church. And then in addition to that, what else can I tell you? Former submariner in the Royal Navy, spent decades in the IT industry at uh, various levels on the service side of things. I worked in the charity sector, lived in the United States for uh, around about six years. Uh, and I am now really the epitome of the uh, more mature person in this dreadful gig economy that we now live in. And we do. Oh, and don't tell me that there's no such thing as ageism. It is alive and well. Even so, we press on. Next question then from you. Okay, what do I think are the key local issues in this election? What do I think are the key local issues in this election? Well, one of the things that I've recognised in living in the uh, the area of Leven now for, for 20 months is that it's, it's a very proud place. The local people are very proud of Leven. Who'd have thunk it? I mean, come on. But they are. They're very proud of their place. They're very proud of their history. They're very proud of their working class heritage. And why shouldn't they be? In addition to that, the other thing that I've noticed is that the whole area, especially Leven and Inner Leven, Lower Methyl, Methyl, they're awash with brown sites. They, they just kind of invent, uh, invite rather uh, further industrial development, further technological development. So what would I like to do then? I'd like to make sure that we've got business evangelists. That's people who are employed to go out to the rest of the United Kingdom, the rest of Great Britain, and tout for business to bring it here, including technology business. Of course, look, the, the nice thing about this area is that if you are unemployed or if you do need to get on, then you get a hand up in these things, that's for sure. There's lots of training that's available. The difficulty is there's not always with that training access in the local area uh, to get into the jobs in the local area. So I would like to have business evangelists that are going out to sell all the glories of the Glenrothes constituency and A, to bring businesses here and B, to have the right kind of training to train people to fit the businesses uh, that are coming to this area. I just think it is rife for development and I love the exciting things that are going on. Uh, it's great that the train line's being opened up uh, back into Leven, uh, but we want to bring businesses here. People that live local wouldn't be great if that they could work in local industries as well, new local industries. And I'd certainly like to see that happen. It's something that can be done. It's certainly something that should be done. Uh, so let's make sure that we employ some business evangelists to go out and sell the area and bring British business uh, into the Kingdom of Fife and into this area in particular. OK, so next question here is, what is your stance on Brexit? Well, that's an easy question. My stance on Brexit. Are you ready? I want out. I want out now. I want it out three years ago with a clean break Brexit. And do not patronise me and the millions of other people that didn't know what we were voting for. Of course we did. We want out. That Muppet show in Westminster and Holyrood has murdered the democratic, democratic process, stabbed it in the back and stabbed it in the face. And I tell you what, Labour and also the Liberal Democrats and the SNP are continuing to fill the face of democracy with knives as they try and make sure that it remains dead. God help us. Um, what has uh, started off as a farce in Parliament 
has moved to a tragedy for the whole of the nation. What's my stance on Brexit? I want out and I want out now. I want the United Kingdom and Scotland within it to be a sovereign state in charge of its own borders, in charge of its own laws and in charge of its own destiny. How's that for a straight enough answer? And the thing about this election and the reason why I continue to stand, my name is on the ballot paper anyway, but I'm continuing to stand is I want the people of the Glenrothes constituency to have an opportunity to say no to these lying parties, to say no to these parties that continue to murder democracy. We've got to do something about this. Well, now's your chance. Uh, I am standing, there's lots of rising tides in the history of men, isn't there? Uh, this, this is one of them, one of many in these troubled times. And uh, I am standing because nobody else would. It's as simple as that. But I am standing to give you the opportunity to say we want to clean break Brexit now. So tick that box. OK, that's my stance on Brexit. What is your stance on a possible second independence referendum? Hmm. OK, that's an easy one as well. I voted no to Scottish independence in the last referendum. I was living in Kirkcaldy at the time. I would do so again. And if another referendum would be granted in my lifetime, then guess what? It would be another knife in the face of democracy. We were told once in a generation chance to vote. My goodness me. These rascals that want us to vote and vote and vote until they get what they want are not democratic. They're not liberal and they're certainly not historic Labour, that's for sure. No, I voted no to Scottish independence in the last referendum and I would vote no again. I think we're better together. This uh, 300 year uh, contract of togetherness has been quite phenomenal. I'd like that to continue. Listen now then, what if it happens? What if uh, the Scottish people, A, do get an opportunity to vote for a referendum, uh, sorry, do get opportunity in a referendum to vote for independence, and B, do get it? Well, first of all, I would vote no again, just to make that very clear. But if Scotland got independence, then I'd want it to be an independent nation state and not a vassal of a failing European state. In other words, if Scotland wants its independence, I would say have it without being part of Europe. But my goodness, what a can of worms that would open. So, no, what's my stance on a possible second independence referendum? I hope we don't get it. If we do, I'll vote no. If the people of Scotland vote yes, I hope we get out of Europe no matter what. OK, why should people vote for me? Last question of this morning, because I've got to get back to work. Why should people vote for me? First of all, I'm not a politician and that should be good reason enough to vote for me. The elite and overpaid, heavily subsidised political classes have shown themselves to be totally self-serving to their own party's ideological ambitions and to be contrary to the democratic will of the people of the United Kingdom in which Scotland is part. If I had my chance, I would replace the lot of them. What a bunch of muppets. So, why should you vote for me? I'm not a politician. Do you know what? People are frightened in this country to speak. People in this country are frightened to enter the political game because of the nastiness of the elite political classes. I'm sick of it. Many people are sick of it. You can stand. Don't be frightened of these muppets. You've got a voice. You're a person. You're entitled to stand in this country and have people vote for you. Do so. Oh, like I say, if I had my way, I'd get a lot of them out of Westminster and Holyrood as well and get some people with common sense in there. Well, there you go. I hope that's answered uh, some of your questions there. And you forgive me uh, for being rushed this morning. But the day calleth. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye bye, everybody.